will tell you more about suspended growth system in secondary treatment of wastewater. Secondary treatment is a wastewater treatment in order to achieve specific degree of effluent quality. It is a further treatment of effluent from the primary treatment. To remove dissolved and suspended organic compound, sewage treatment plants are being used with physical phase or by using biological process. Suspended growth system method is a treatment of wastewater by using microorganisms such as bacteria. It has various modes of activated slush process to make use the suspended growth directors. Before we proceed, to the waste of the treatment, there are a few terms that will be used and you may need to know the meaning. The first term is sludge. Sludge is a semi-solid slurry or material that is produced as a byproduct sewage treatments of industrial or municipal wastewater. The next term is waterborne disease. Waterborne disease is a disease that occurs due to the contaminated or dirty water. The last term is chlorination. Chlorination is a process of adding chlorine or hypochlorite to the water. Then, we proceed to the process of the treatments. The process of these treatments starts with the sludge waste of feed to an aeration reactor. This aeration reactor or aeration tank is filled with high concentration of microbes in a suspended condition. Hence, the wastewater is purified inside the aeration tank as it will contact with purifying microbes. The microbes oxidize dissolved organic matters from slush waste into simple end products and new cells. The system is kept under mixed condition with the use of mechanical reactors and further supply excessive oxygen. Liquid solid separation occurs when higher density substances from sedimentation and settle off the bottom of the tank. The clarified supernatant can be discharged as effluent. A clarifier is used to purify water from the bacterial cultures. The process also involves the recirculation arrangements, as its function is to return biological sludge collection from the clarifier to the aeration tank. The excess sludge will be extracted and removed. A mixing arrangement is needed in order to ensure the best possible contact between bacterial cells and their nutrients to encourage the, the widespread diffusion of oxygen and to prevent the formation of deposits. Next, we move to the problem and solution of this treatment. First problem is, this secondary treatment do not expect to kill and remove 100% of living organisms that leads to waterborne disease and insecurity feeling. As for the solution, we suggest for more efficient treatment and practical measures for check the wastewater quality. For the second problem is, the disinfection treatment will increase the cost technically and economically, especially during the chlorination process, so that Using the effective alternative disinfection treatment, either physical or chemical treatment to reduce the cost by using ozone and ultraviolet light. And lastly, the chlorination in this stage affects the natural ecosystem. Even low concentrations of chlorine is still a toxic to the aquasystem. 
Physical treatments such as ozone and ultraviolet light, which are more effective and safer, were suggested for a better solution.